very precious about his beer barrels, that Mike, isn't he? I only wanted to have a go. Well, no offence, Doug, but he's a professional drayman. I really don't think a bloke of your age should be humping barrels around. Oh, it's all technique rather than brute force. Basic physics, really. Well, no need for him to be rude like that. You're back running again. I was running off the Christmas beer. Oh, right, well, you better jump in the shower quick, cos I'm cooking a breakfast over at Lisa's and you're my wingman. Oh, what? Can she not come to us? No, there's no room. Kane and Moira are coming and I've texted Debbie to bring the kids. We're all pulling together, remember? Oh, you didn't have to do all of this, you know. Oh, I know we didn't, but we wanted to. And just because some people are acting like wazzocks doesn't mean that life has to stop, does it? Who's up for washing up duty? Yeah, that's a good question. Hey, it should be keen and no, seen as I'll lay last in. I remember that, Sammy. Right, has anybody heard from Debbie? Cos I can't hold this off much longer. I need to know. Uh, her and Ross have had a bust up. What about this time? Well, does it matter? It's over. That's all you need to know. But they're always arguing. Yeah, only this time she's had enough. She's taken the kids and she's left the village. What do you mean, left? Well, we're all saying goodbye. Well, how long for? I think it's pretty permanent. Is she OK? Well, do you think I'd let her go if she wasn't OK? Are you sure I can't give you a hand? Go on, leave. I'll sort it. All right. See ya. Now that we're finally on our own, Spill. How do you mean? What's really going on with Debbie? I told you, they split up and she doesn't want to be in the same village as him. And you just let her leave? <sighs> what else was I supposed to do? Well, run him out of town? Talk her down? Just leave it, eh? Kane. You don't need any more stress. No, you give me more stress by only giving me half a story. Now, come on, what is it? <laughs> She's found some stuff out about Ross and it's fried her brain a bit, so she's... she's removed herself from the situation. And what stuff? He was the one who shot Robert. What? Him and Andy cooked up some kind of deal, they were in it together. Oh, my God. So, understandably, she doesn't want Jack or Sarah near either of them. He could have killed me. I've been scared witless and that little scrot has been walking around. You would upset, yeah. Upset doesn't even come close, Kane. And what do I tell Aaron? You tell him nothing. Unless you want him to go after the pair of them. So we just shut it down? You know what he's like? He's better off not knowing. Coffee to go, please, Bob. Looks like Carly could do one as well. Oh, give her a nudge, will you? She's making the place look untidy. Hey. <laughs> Why don't we play sleeping lions? What, and lie on the floor? No, I don't lie on the floor. We lie on these. Come on, let's practice. Hey, birthday tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. Ah. Are you doing out special? I don't know. I think we want to just put someone in the pub. Ah, right. Well, you, you better have a pint off me then, eh? No, no, you're right. What, you won't even take a drink off me now? Listen, it's better that you hear this from me rather than someone random in the pub, but it's our Debbie. She's left the village and she's taken Jack and Sarah with her. Uh, since when? Well, I don't know, last night, apparently. Her and Ross have had some Barney and... Yeah, she's gone, sorry. You have my charger again? Mm? No, you're the one who keeps nicking him. Nightmare. All right, I need to go back to work, but thank you for this morning. Anytime. Oh, yeah, um. I saw Zach earlier, told him about Debbie. He was just, he was on about my birthday and asking if I was doing anything or so. Well, there's no way he's coming. Lisa and Bella are going to be there. No, it's not like I was inviting him or anything. He was just, I felt bad for him. He's on his own, isn't he? Did you manage to get hold of Gordon and give him his wallet back? Yeah, uh, yeah, I meant to say, sorry. Oh, good. One less job for me. I'm off down the cash and carry later. You did the dray delivery this morning, didn't you? First thing. Not here. so much for never seeing him again. He needed his stuff back. So why couldn't he just get it off Diane? Because he's finished his chemo. It was easier, that's all. 